This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the very patient president and CEO of Nevada Sunrise Metals, Mr. Warren Stanier. Warren, I joke because we were joking off air about how you and I have had to exercise patience here in the new year as everyone gets back in the office, drillers get back on the ground. But the good news is that the drill bit is once again turning at your 100% owned Gemini Lithium Project in Nevada. We're all obviously eagerly waiting for water sample results. We're all eagerly waiting for hole three to get complete results to have a better snapshot moving forward. And borehole number four is now targeting a really strong conductive anomaly that I know we're all excited about because it's 1.17 kilometers northwest of hole two. And this is going to test the deepest part of the Gemini Basin to date. So that's a whole heck of a lot, but I'm excited. <laughs> and if I need to be patient, we can be patient. Well, you seem to have a good handle on what we're doing. That's for sure. But, you know, we're, what we're looking at is the first three holes, we drilled them all on a north-south line. So this is our first hole to the west, to the northwest of two, sort of the middle of that line. Uh, and we do expect it to be uh, deeper to get to, first of all, number three is the first hole that we've hit basement with. So in the first two holes that we drilled, highly exploratory, not knowing what to expect, and when things got really tough and slow, we decided to terminate holes one and two at depths just over, one was a thousand, sorry, 900 feet, and one was at 1120, uh, two was at 1120. So uh, in this case, you know, we got all the way to 1600 plus, we hit what we interpret as basement, and that's a really important fact because what we can see, and, and we were right, is that when we drilled hole three to the north of one and two, that we were in a shallower part of the basin. It definitely is. Uh, we can see that in, in the alluvium, the sand and gravel that we first encounter. Uh, in this hole number three that was completed in December, the alluvium ended at 285 feet. Whereas in hole two, for example, it ended at about 450 feet. So there's, there's a steepening of the, call it the basin fill. Uh, in other words, the basin itself is getting deeper. Therefore, there was more of this alluvium sitting in, in these areas that are further south from, from where we just finished. So hole four, uh, which we put out a map today, it's, it's kind of smack in the middle of, of this, this uh, call it a parallelogram that's developing. And between one, two, and three, and we've got uh, locations to the north and the south of, of this particular hole, number four, that would give us then six holes forming a, a tilted square, let's call it that, or tilted rectangle. And then from there, perhaps we just fill in or we do we go further afield into some of the whole areas that we permitted? And that's what exploration is all about. And we're the pioneers here in, in the Gemini Basin. Well, let's be very frank, Warren. I've, uh, you and I have chatted off air and we talked about, you know, kind of the company's approach to the assays. And I know that everyone, myself, and I'm a bias shareholder. I've said, I've said it every time that I do one of these interviews or we chat on the record. I'm, I'm, I'm biased because I own shares and have exposure to quite a few. And, and, and I want to win on the lithium side and the gold side. And I'll ask you about that in a second. But I, what's the approach moving forward on the assays, the sediment and the water? Um, samples that we're waiting on for hole three right now, and then subsequently, what will the approach be for hole four, if you can divulge that? Well, I mean, what we wanted to do with hole three is see if the, and we put out some assays in um, some analyses in November, to see how it matched to what we'd seen in holes one and two. And it basically has. So I don't think we have to put out and rush any samples anymore. We just need to get samples to the lab as soon as possible because I think it's the most fair representation of what we're doing is to have the complete whole from top to bottom instead of confusing potentially confusing the public with parts of holes or or not uh, consecutive uh, analyses so so that's what we'll be doing going forward and 
if we can drill faster or maybe have two drills going in the future, depending on what the budget for this project is. I mean, I'd like it to be in the tens of millions of dollars to outline a huge resource. So it wouldn't be inconceivable to have two drills going and, and that way there'd be double the news flow, that's for sure. But right now we just have to wait for these holes to be finished and for the results to come in and compile them. And then we can tell everybody what we got. I look forward to those results. I understand and fully agree with the lithium being the primary focus uh, for Nevada Sunrise Metals right now, being that this is a 100% owned project that has the potential in a lithium red hot bull market to, to, to really prove out some scale and potentially maybe even, and we'll talk about a basin when we get you know the results, uh, uh, a brine basin. Um, but look, you have a gold project that you still have a substantial interest in, close to 20%, that I am also very, very keen on. I love the project. Um, the operator and 80% owner, Copar Minerals, has done some really, really good geophysics work, work that both you and I had encouraged for a long time. They've done a great job of outlining some exciting targets to the north. And look, with gold at 1900 and the dollar index above 100, I think we're in for a pretty exciting 2023 in the gold space. Do you have an update on Kinsley Mountain? Well, we just had a meeting yesterday, and I, I don't want to get into too many details. But um, at first, with you know the gold, the rise in the gold price, I think there there should be a focus on the western flank, where there's areas that um, are in between holes, or where you can add to the resource and and add to the the uh, confidence in the resource estimate. So. That's probably where we're going here uh, early in the year. And should the gold market continue to rise and, and, and be stable at this price, then there's a better opportunity for Copar and for us to raise money for the project and, and have some larger budgets and more prospecting holes, shall we say. So at this point, I think bringing up the, uh, the confidence in the resource estimate is a good thing. And the western flank is where there's a high-grade system. Well, I like the western flank. I like the targets to the north. I love a gold bull market. Um, and and look, lithium has been very kind to me in 2022, I suspect. It will continue to be kind to me in 2023. And um, yeah. I suspect you and I will be chatting soon, Warren. Thank you so much for the update. Is there anything else to add to that? We have a copper project that I really like as well. But um, we'll talk about that maybe another time unless you have an update for me. Well, we'd like to get out there. Again, it's just people, time, and budget. So right now the focus on, is on lithium, but I think um, to go to Coronado and put a couple of holes in it in the spring to early summer would be a good thing. I mean, we want to know what we have there, and we haven't been lucky in just getting to basement through this, this overburden. So we've got some ideas about how to do that and prove the project to, to be what we think it could be. And just for those of you that are new to that project, uh, the Coronado Copper Project is a VMS project. Uh, Big Mike is the past producing mine. Uh, we know that you know mines of these types, uh, these deposits typically happen in clusters is, is the signature for VMS deposits. They've only discovered one. It's in Nevada. The historic resource was very high grade. I'd love to find another one of those, make a discovery at Kinsley, add to that resource and uh, outline a significant lithium resource in Nevada on the lithium side. That would make for a pretty wonderful 2023, Warren. Well, yeah, so just one more thing about Coronado, and it's, it's really a tribute to the persistence of exploration and people taking chances, taking risks. So in the 1930s, I believe it was, someone sampled an outcrop sticking up out of the dirt, and it ran a few grams of gold. Well, that wasn't really exciting in 1938, I think it was, but uh, it, it was interesting because, I mean, at that time, if you were mining gold, you pretty much had to be mining an ounce per ton or, or close to it uh, when gold was $35 an ounce. But somebody thought, you know what, why don't I put a, try and put a hole right in the middle of this, this little flat spot here? And that's how they found Big Mike. So that mineralization, that little pinnacle sticking up out of the dirt that had gold in it was actually the key to a mine, to a copper mine, one of the highest grade mines probably in the history of the United States. Small, but the, the ore was so rich that you could ship it direct to smelter, which they did all the way to West Germany 
back in the in 1970. So there you go. Some guy took a chance, drilled a hole. People thought he was crazy, no doubt. <laughs> That's why we've been writing checks for many, many years, Warren. <laughs> Let's see what 2023 has in store. Um, I think, you know, I've said the name Nevada Sunrise Gold and now Nevada Sunrise Medals ah, so yeah. many times to my wife that she's probably tired of hearing about it. Um, sure. But look, it's 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 also Nevada Sunrise Gold was very good to me several times, and I suspect it's going to be very good to me in 2023. So um, cheers to that, and we'll chat again soon. Thanks, Warren. Thanks, Gerardo. It's been a pleasure. Hey everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.